The Strider, by far the most OP dino in this game. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Live. I'm back here, man, with another legendary video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly why the Strider is the best dino on this game. All right. I got a, a buddy of mine that's been using the Strider since it came out. So he's going to help me and show me how to farm and how to use it and how to link it to the daddy boxes and just pretty much give me all the information I need on it. So make sure y'all drop a like on this video, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, man, if we hit over 150 likes on this video, I will give away a mech. So smash that like button, leave a comment if this video helped you. And yes, let's get right into it. And oh, before we get into it, you can see the Reapers. They're getting bigger. The colors on them is pretty amazing. Um, I got to get some May Wings here real soon. The base is coming along very beautifully. We're pretty strong right now on the server. Got a nice foothold. And yeah, the grind does not stop. But yeah, let's get into it. So here we have the Striders. Um, we got a bunch of tribe mates that have been going crazy on the missions. You do need missions to get these things. I'm not sure how complicated they are to tame them. Hopefully I can get a video out on how to tame them. I will start attacking these missions here real soon. Um, one of the leaders of EOD, he's gonna explain a little bit about what he knows about these striders and why they so OP. It was really my first time using them and I was blown away. So without further ado, man, I'm gonna let him explain to you guys exactly how dope these things are. Yeah, we're working with the, the harvesting strider today. And um, it's got the, the drill bit on the face there. And when you toggle left trigger, um, it turns on this big resource scanning beam and it will automatically harvest resources in front of it. And the cool thing about these is that you can link them to dedicated storage in your base. And whenever you farm that resource in that dedicated storage, it will zap that resource right to your base instantly. So like no more having to fly it back to the TP, no more like getting killed with your resources on you. Like, yeah, I mean, once you zap it, it's in your base, it's safe. Um, there's like eight different variants of them, of the striders. There's like cannons and shields and like different resource gathering ones. Uh, they can charge batteries if you put batteries in their inventory. They uh, all have a transmitter equipped on their back, so you can toggle the transmitter, turn them on. They all have a bed on them for fast travels. To tame them, you need to complete um, missions from Genesis 2. And the higher level missions that you accomplish, the higher level strider that you can then tame. Um, it takes mutagel to tame it, and you have to hack and fix the corrupted body parts, and that will give you the ability to tame them. They're pretty broken right now for farming resources. You can only imagine what one would do on like aberration when you're farming metal. You could fill like a whole daddy of raw metal in like no time right now. I feel like they're pretty big for PvP too, just because they have that transmitter in them and can charge your batteries for your turrets. And, and you know, like this one here has got a cannon in it. Um, you know, the other one we, we were looking at has like a big tech shield that it can deploy to protect your dinos or protect your push. They're just like absolutely like the new essential farm tame. I mean, like if you don't have one, you're, you're not playing Gen 2, right? <laughs> But um, they will only farm the resource that uh, you are like farming in your daddy. So this one here is linked to element shards, so it'll only farm any node that will give it element shards. Like it'll ignore the metal nodes entirely. And then anything that's not the resource that you're farming, like we're farming element shards, it'll put the stone and the hard element into the inventory of the strider itself. And their stats are pretty cool too. Like. Whatever you pump on them goes up like a pretty good amount. Like you could pump straight HP and you could easily get like over 100,000 health. You could pump like straight weight, charge capacity. They uh, they hold resources at a reduced weight as well. So they're really good for farming in general because they can hold like you know lots and lots of extra materials. 
absolutely beast tame. I mean, Genesis 2 is, is so cool. They just keep coming out with all these new game-breaking quality of life, you know, dinosaurs and, and techniques and stuff like that. And it's just, you know, just really cool to see what they've done with the game since, you know, we, we used to fly around with Quetzals and Ankies back in the day. So, you know, to this, where we're just zapping up element right into our base. But yeah, gotta get yourself a strider if you don't have one. Uh, Pat, he's one of the leaders in EOD. He's pretty passionate about these things. I'm just as passionate with him. They are incredible. Like he was saying, man, to have a bubble, to have a transmitter, to be able to charge batteries, be able to zap up resources and send them straight to your inventory in your base it's just pretty incredible it just makes gen 2 a must-have map um i feel sorry for all the guys out there that don't have gen 2 hopefully they can figure out a way to get it these dinosaurs right here will be the difference maker all right so i gotta get cracking on these missions obviously i'm gonna want to try to tame a high level one even for a video and it, it's pretty prestigious all right, so having all these things is, is pretty, pretty dope. And I'm, I can't wait to see what Ark has to bring us later on within the game. So I actually kept on grinding using, you can pretty much solo farm all these deadies with the giraffe. It's pretty simple. Just take it out there whenever the resources is there and try to pick the islands that have a lot of element nodes on it. I think that helps way better. So the grind definitely does not stop, man. These striders are just beautiful, beautiful dinos. Get out there, tame them up. <clears throat> I actually got to bring you guys some May Wing footage here. I, I started to tame up some May Wings because I want to get them back on Val to start raising some gigas automated. And I don't know if you guys know about the tech plants. More videos is coming, man. Make sure y'all drop a like. Hit that subscribe button. EOD is going crazy. If we get... 200 likes on this video i will do a stream for you guys man i know a lot of you guys want to see me stream it's on the way man drop those 200 likes on this video and we will bring you guys a stream what i will stream is obviously the pve things i do throughout the day you know how i always make videos and you guys always say blaze we don't know what you actually do when you're not making videos that's what the stream will show obviously we on a server that we dominate so i'm not really worried about the ops and if they try to pull up to our other servers we have ways to know what's going on so if you guys want to stream 200 200 likes on this and i'll bring you guys a stream as you guys can see we had 82,000 um shards and when it was all said and done we we had a crazy amount all right